Hello everyone, I am KWT Shyamali presenting you with our research attention unit for glaucoma identification using fundus image segmentation. Glaucoma is on the rise. In year 2020, the World Glaucoma Association estimated that there are 78 million people have glaucoma worldwide. They have predicted this amount will be grown up to 112 million in year 2040. Let's have a quick introduction to our research. Glaucoma is a fatal worldwide disease that can cause blindness after cataracts for people over 40-60 years. Generally, treatment planning of glaucoma release on images such as retinal fundus and OCT scans. Vision loss or the blindness can usually be prevented when glaucoma is detected early. Motivations behind our research are computational model can be used as a second opinion in glaucoma diagnosis process then address the issue due to misdiagnosis, then uh, automated segmentation, uh, more objective and faster than human segmentation, and finally better segmentation with the fundus images. Objectives of our research are explore the literature related to deep learning techniques for retinal fundus images segmentation, then design and develop a unit based fundus image segmentation to support glaucoma diagnosis process and finally analyze the accuracy of segmentation results. This table summarizes the glaucoma identification related studies that are based on the unit architectures. Their results are shown using the metrics namely accuracy, dice coefficient, jacquard coefficient, sensitivity and specificity. From these studies, Zaho and others have obtained 99.75 accuracy for optic cup segmentation. This is the methodology of our research. In the first step, explore the existing literature, techniques and data set as well. Then uh, in the pre-person step, apply the data pre processing techniques to improve the quality of the images and remove the unwanted noises. Then employ data augmentation techniques to reduce the chance of overfitting and to improve the generalization of the algorithm. As the third step, develop an attention unit based fundus image segmentation method employing three CNN architectures namely Inception V3, VGG19 and ResNet50. And finally, evaluate the efficiency of optic disc segmentation and optic cup segmentation with the best performances. The high level view of the proposed methodology illustrates in here. As the first step, we employ the fundus images along with the ground truth mask from the two datasets separately. Then we use two pre processing techniques, namely contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization and the median filter. Histogram equalization is a well-known pre-processing technique that improves the contrast and quality of the image. However, noises degraded the quality of the image and used the medium filter technique to defeat the noise while retraining the edge details within the image. In addition, data augmentation techniques were applied to uh, to address the class imbalance issue and enhance the amount of data in dataset. Then fed all the augmented images into attention unit and evaluate the dice coefficient, jacquard coefficient, accuracy, specificity and sensitivity. For this experiment, we have used two different datasets namely RIM1 and ACRIMA dataset. RIM1 includes total of 942 images and ACRIMA include the 705 total images. The implementation of attention unit architecture requires mask of each fundus images. However, mask of the optic disk exists only in the RIM1 version 1 dataset and mask of the optic disk 
and cups are consistent in RIM 1 version 3. In order to fulfill the segmentation process, we manually created the mask for remaining images using the appear.com. These are the sample of Anders image along with the mask of optic cup and optic disc. Then consider about the traditional unit architecture for medical image segmentation comprises two major parts namely encoder part and the decoder part. Encoder part includes a series of regular convolutional layers and max poly layers to extract the image's local features. Then decoder part includes the transport convolutional layers which use for the localization. Generally, skip connection transport redundant low level characteristics from encoder to decoder part. Normally, traditional unit architecture has less feature information in the initial layers. When moving on to the implementation of this study, employ the attention unit architecture for image segmentation process. Then it consists of encoder, decoder and attention gate at the skip connection of each level. Substituted the original encoder of the attention unit with image net pre-trained network namely VGG19, inception metry and ResNet50 as backbone separately. But have the same decoders, convolutional upsampling and concatenation. For the segmentation process, employ three CNN architectures, namely Inception V3, VGG19, and ResNet50 architecture. As the first architecture, Inception V3, we utilize the Keras APIS Inception V3 model, which was pre trained on the ImageNet dataset. The Inception V3 is a deep learning model based on the convolutional neural network which is used for image classification. The Inception V3 model was released in the year 2050. It has a total of 42 layers and a lower error rate. The second architecture is VGG19 and it is composed by 16 convolutional layers and 3 fully connected layers. VJG19 is very deep and has been trained on millions of diverse images with complex classification tasks. The third architecture, ResNet50, short for the residual network, is a classic neural network used as the backbone for many computer vision tasks. ResNet50 is a variant of ResNet model which has 48 convolution layers along with one max pool and one average pool layers. The ResNet50 has over 23 million trainable parameters. The results of segmented optic cup and optic disc images are shown in here. The image results of segmentation using attention unit were compared to ground truth images and the result of attention unit segmentation were exact with the ground truth image. Let's take a look at the implementation result of each CNN architecture. The result obtained for the training accuracy, validation accuracy, training loss and validation loss of each, each architecture for each dataset are shown in here. We have trained both datasets for 150 epochs during this study. The first three graphs showed results of opti disk segmentation of attention unit model with inception v3 vgg19 and resnet 50 on rim1 dataset accuracy of inception v3 obtained 98.45 accuracy of vgg19 obtained 99.02 and accuracy of resnet 50 obtained 99.53 in those graphs, we can't see any clear signs of overfitting since our model performs well on training data and testing data. In the second three graphs show the result of optic cup segmentation of attention unit model with inception v3, vgg19 and resnet50 on rim1 dataset. Accuracy of inception v3 obtained the 96.34. Then accuracy of VGG19 obtained a 96.55 and uh, accuracy of ResNet50 obtained the 97.37. In this graph diagrams also, VGG19 model performs well on training data as well as on testing data. 
Therefore, we can't see any overfitting issue in these graphs. The third three graphs show the results of after the segmentation of attention unit model with inception V3, uh, VGG19 and ResNet50 on Nacrima dataset. Accuracy of inception V3 achieved the 97.91, uh, then accuracy of VGG19 achieved the 98.12 and accuracy of ResNet50 achieved the 99.23. In the fourth three graphs show the results of optic cup segmentation of attention unit models with inception V3, VGG19 and ResNet50 on Acrima datasets. Accuracy of inception V3 achieved the 96.46, then accuracy of VGG19 achieved the 92.22 and accuracy of ResNet50 achieved the 97.85. So, it can be seen that the proposed models do not overfit as the training and validation accuracy curves are converging. According to the performances of each method, opted the segmentation of ResNet50 model on RIM1 dataset obtained the 99.53 accuracy with the least testing loss. Furthermore, update this segmentation of ResNet50 model on Acrima dataset obtained the 99.23 accuracy with the less testing loss. Moving on to the comparison with the existing studies, Tabism has obtained the 99.71 accuracy for optic cup segmentation and 99.66 for optic disk segmentation on Dristi GS dataset. Then Zaho has achieved 99.75 accuracy for opti disk segmentation on Dristi GS dataset. Furthermore, Sevato Poloski and Javier have obtained the same amount of uh, dice coefficient as 9 to 5 percentage for opti disk segmentation using different datasets. Finally, the proposed method obtained the 99.53 accuracy for opted this segmentation on RIM1 dataset. As the future works of this study, develop a glaucoma classification method through the segmentation process, then develop as an ensemble model uh, and finally deploy in a clinical pra practice as a prototype tool. The conclusion of our research is this paper presented the segmentation approach to segment optic disc and optic cup using attention unit with funders images. We have employed the three pre-trained architectures used for attention unit encoder part. We have applied the pre-processing method and then applied the data augmentation techniques to address, address the class imbalance issue. Attention unit based optic disk segmentation of ResNet50 as the backbone on the RIM1 dataset showed an accuracy of 99.53 among the other architectures. Now I have come to the end of the presentation. Thank you.